Hello, welcome to my channel. This is another video of the playlist on muscular disorders, but this time the problem is more neurological than muscular. We are going to speak about the equine degenerative myeloencephalopathy, that is a severe form of neuronaxonal dystrophy, characterized by lesions of the central nervous system caused by a deficit of vitamin E. The current hypothesis is that there are genetically predisposed animals in which when there is a deficit of vitamin E, there is the development of the disease. The oxidative stress due to the lack of antioxidants causes the impaired function of axonal transport. Animals can show clinical signs from very young to a more adult age and they are due to the alteration of the upper motor neurons. There is ataxia, proprioceptive deficits, weakness and dysmetria. Usually clinical signs are more severe on hind limbs and the type of spinal ataxia is quite similar to the one of horses with cervical vertebral stenotic myelopathy. But in 60% of cases there is also altered mental status. And more recently, lipofusin pigments on fundoscopic examination have been described, similar to those found in the equine motor neuron disease. If you missed that video, you can follow the link that will appear on top. Definitive diagnosis can be reached only post-mortem with the histopathological examination of the spinal cord, where we can find astrocytosis, astrogliosis, loss of myelin, vacuola formation and lipofusin deposits. Antemortem, the diagnosis is presumptive and it's based on clinical signs and ruling out other causes of neurological signs. Fail to detect low vitamin E concentrations in blood doesn't exclude the disease because the deficit that has caused neuronal damage may have occurred in the past and have been already solved at the time of diagnosis. The treatment consists on vitamin E supplementation, but neuronal damage is irreversible. The disease is not progressive and horses usually remain stable at 3 years of life, but because neurological lesions are permanent, they may not be suitable for sport activity. Animals with severe signs usually show the disease early in life and have a more rapid progression, while Animals with mild neurological signs are older and do not worsen with time. Well, that's all. I hope that it was clear. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!